one last time creating the background for our spacecape. Well, today we're going to create the objects for our spacecape. So I'm going to do things like planets, UFOs, rocket ships. So what you need is a piece of paper, something to draw with. I would say use a black crayon or a Sharpie marker if you have it, and maybe a pencil if you want to draw it with that first. All right, gather your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so I've got a piece of paper. If, you have, if you're at home and all you have is notebook paper, that's fine. So what I today I'm going to show you to do is just draw you some, some random things, um, and later on you can decide which things you want to put in your picture. Um, we are going to have one thing that is required though. I'm going to draw with Sharpie. If you'd like to draw with pencil first and then either go over it at the end with black marker or the crayon, that's fine. Don't use a Crayola marker today because you saw last week that can smear. We're going to do kind of the same idea eventually with the objects that we decide to put in our picture. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create one large curve across the bottom. So this is going to be our, the planet that we are standing on or looking out from for our spacescape. So the planet that's closest to us. And what you're going to need to do um, is add some texture to this. So a lot of times what I like to do is I like to think of a planet that has craters. Now craters are caused, if you look at the moon you can see a lot of craters. Um, we have a few on Earth, but they're a little harder to see because we have a lot of plants and things that have um, grown over the top of them. But craters happen when uh, a rock from outer space or some other object from outer space falls and hits the planet and it leaves kind of a little crust. Now, they're not always the same size. Some can be smaller. I'm putting little lines on the side like that to show kind of that they're sticking up. Sometimes though they're very flat, so maybe you just want to leave it like that. Um, so if they're really big, I'm kind of using like a wobbly oval. It's really kind of flat. And then I just kind of put two lines a lot on the side. You can decide how many of these that you want to add to your picture. Um, later on we might do some more if you wanted to show some texture of that planet you can do that too um, where it's a little this reminds me a lot of the moon um, all right so now uh, what we can also do is we can make some planets and if you're at home or at school you can try to find something round to trace around of course if you want to just do a planet uh, like that now if you don't have anything round it is also completely okay just to draw some freehand most planets, believe it or not, they look like they're perfect spheres, but honestly, they're not. If, if you look it up, you'll find out that they're kind of actually a little bit more flat. Um, they're not always perfect. So if you get one that's a little flat, that's okay. Some um, dwarf planets and asteroids could even be really irregular shaped. Um, so do a couple of those. I'm going to show you how to do a planet like Saturn that might have rings around it. It doesn't matter where you put this, it doesn't have to stay there later on, but I'm going to draw kind of a half of a circle, so just one big curve for this. Now for the rings, I, I don't actually do the whole circle. I'm going to put the rings in first. I'm going to kind of start over here on the side and curve around it's not very much of a curve, just so it kind of sticks out a little bit. So it almost looks like a little hat, but it's not sticking out very far on the sides. Now I'm going to make more rings. I'm going to start it right above there, really close, go a little further out, and then I go back close and then curve around. What you don't want to do is have it go up over the top of that. It really does look like a little hat now. You can decide how many of those you would like to do. It's always really close together in the front far on the sides and then close in the back like that. Then you have to just think about where the rest of the planet would come in on the bottom and just draw the rest of that in there. I know that's not a perfect circle and I'm okay with that. It's close enough. All right, so let's try drawing some other things besides just planets. Let's think about maybe a rocket. You can make your rocket any size you want. I'm going to make kind of mine medium size for right now because I'm gonna draw a few more things. I'm going to draw two lines that are parallel. If yours are not perfectly straight, maybe you want yours to be curved out a little bit, that's fine. I'm actually gonna draw a cylinder. So I'm gonna draw a curve on the bottom. Oops, looks like this line needs to be a little longer. And then I'm gonna do the same curve 
going down. Now instead of drawing the top part of the cylinder, I'm going to put a cone on top. So I'm just going to kind of decide where I want the point of that cone, put a dot, and then I can just draw from one to the other. And then I usually draw something in the back where the exhaust from the rocket can come out. Do two curve lines and then one big line connecting. Now if you draw it differently, that's okay. Sometimes I'll put wings on the side. Sometimes I leave them out. Sometimes I like to add window. Sometimes I leave that out. Those kind of details are up to you. Um, you can also draw something called a satellite. So a satellite um, is kind of a box. So I'm going to start off with some sort of rectangle. I'm leaving a little extra room. Doesn't This part doesn't have to be, be very big at all. Um, I'm going to make mine look a little 3D. So I'm going to make kind of three short diagonal lines all going the same way. And then connect here and here. So the top is parallel with the box the top of the box and the side is parallel with the side of the box. Um, I think I'm going to add the little solar panels coming out the side. So I'm going to do two lines and I'm just going to make some rectangles. So if you look at satellites, sometimes those could be parallelograms too. I'm going to add kind of like a little grid pattern on here because usually solar panels have a little grid on them. And those would tilt and adjust to where the sun is. I think I'm going to also add a little, like a little dish up here. So I'm going to add a curve. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a really flat oval. Maybe like a little antenna sticking out. Now the neat thing about this is you can add all sorts of little buttons, um, switches, just to get, make it look a little more technical, you can do that if you'd like. Um, you can also add a UFO if you'd like. So it kind of, the UFO reminds me a lot of making this planet with the rings. So I'm going to start with half of a circle. And instead of doing the rings this time, I'm going to just draw a curve, a little bit of a curve across the bottom. Because this is going to be round. And then instead of starting right on the corner there, I'm going to go up a little bit and then draw a short diagonal line. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then a nice big curve from one end to the other. Now if that's not perfect, don't stress out about that. Sometimes I like to add little circles or ovals. So those could be little lights or little windows looking out. Maybe let's, speaking of my big window up top, I'm going to add a little reflection. If you want to do that, you can. Now you could leave yours just looking like that, or maybe you want to make this look a little more thick. So I'm going to add a little line going in, follow that same curve. You could leave it this way if you want to add like little legs for it to be propped up once it lands. Maybe those are wheels. You can do that too. So if you'd like to make more planets, don't worry if you make a mistake uh, in one spot. Just move over and try it in another because the key here is um, later on, this is kind of where I'm stopping for the day, but later on we actually are going to cut these out and put them on that paper that we made last week. So don't get stressed out if this is not, uh, if you've made a mistake in one spot, we're just going to cut that part off anyway. See if you can make for sure this planet across the bottom. Um, make sure you make one other smaller planet and then choose one of these three items, the UFO, the rocket, or the satellite to also make. Now, if you get really frustrated with one, try a different one um, because you want to have at least one of those other objects in your picture. We are going to wait to add the color to them next week. So um, remember, when you get done, if you drew this in pencil, to either trace over it with a Sharpie or a black crayon, um, and that way you're all ready for next week. If you're at school with me, make sure to turn it over and with a pencil, write your name. 
and then also write your code. If you're at, at home and doing this, make sure you take a picture of it now, send it to me on Seesaw, and remember, still hold on to this paper, one of these papers that you made last week, and hang on to this. We have one more day, well, two, probably two more days for sure to work on this. It's a long project, so don't lose your papers. All right, until next time, I hope you're staying creative and having fun. Goodbye.